This is for all my strong women out there, those independent ladies who are used to solving problems on their own, figuring stuff out, and every once in a while they have a dark moment where they're struggling and because they haven't created a support system, because they've always been the strong one, it can feel like they're all by themselves and that nobody's showing up for them. This is something that I've helped many clients work through. It's just a process that I've had to work through and I want to share that with you today. I'm Stacy Brockline and I help people create deep, meaningful connections through healthy communication. So when you're a strong person, people around you become accustomed to that. And when you have a struggle, you tend to go internal and work it all out on your own. And that can take some time and that can be challenging. And you might go MIA and then all of a sudden realize, wait a second, no one has checked on me. Nobody even notices that I'm gone. Nobody has reached out. I'm completely and totally alone. Despite the fact that I check on other people, nobody's checking on me. Now that's just a story because a lot of times what's happened is the people in your life, they just assume you've got it. They're like, oh, she must be busy. Even if they think you're struggling, she's figuring it out. Like what, what can I bring to the table for her? What we have to do is to train the people in our life differently. If we want them to show up in a different way, we've got to let them know. It's our job to reach out for help and to tell them, hey, if I go missing for a while, I'm struggling <laughs> and I might not have figured out that I'm struggling yet or I might be really trying to figure it out. So if you notice, please check on me please reach out to me. I may need help that I don't know about yet. And I don't mean this as a manipulation of people, right? As a test of people and then whether they're gonna show up or not. We are gonna be okay, we're gonna figure it out, but we can tell the people in our lives, hey, if you notice that I'm gone, please check on me. I, I am trying to figure it out, but I could use some support. And then when people do check on us, we have to thank them. We have to tell the truth, not go, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I got it. If we don't got it, we have to let them know that. And to reinforce that they check on us, we have to thank them and show up for that, okay? So that's the first thing. And we, we strong women need people to realize that, that we need that. We need that. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not weak to need to lean on somebody. Okay, the next thing that happens is that we finally go, okay, okay, I need help. I need some support. And we reach out to somebody and they go, oh, well, you're strong. You got it. You'll be fine. You'll figure it out. And then we feel alone and unheard because we just needed somebody to acknowledge us in that moment, to validate our feelings. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're good at that. We're good at problem solving but we need emotional support. <laughs> we need someone to sit there with us. And so that's our job, to tell the people in our lives how we want them to show up, to let them know, I don't need a cheerleader. I don't need reassurance. What I need right now is, is someone to just sit and listen and acknowledge me and validate me. Tell me they see me, that they understand me, that I'm not alone. I can figure my stuff out. So. It's our job to let people know how to show up for us, right? And if you have that strong friend who comes to you and says, I'm struggling, make sure that you just listen. Ask them what they need. Don't just assume that you can't help in some way because you can. They may just need you to be there for them. And again, when someone does that for you, you've got to acknowledge it. You have, it's a training process. So you ask them to show up for you, they do. You say, thank you, I appreciate that, right? That's how you reinforce this behavior. So you need to make sure that you acknowledge that and, and, and let them know that you appreciate that. Because here's the thing about struggle. It is such an opportunity. 
We think we don't want to burden the people in our lives, and so we keep everything to ourselves, but actually it is in sharing our vulnerable moments and sharing our struggles and letting people show up for us that we create intimacy. We create a stronger bond. If you think about it, the people that you're the closest to are the people that you've been through the shit with. So don't, don't waste this opportunity. If something crappy is going on in your life, it already sucks. You might as well use it to strengthen the bonds with the people that you care about by reaching out and by telling them what you need. So don't waste the opportunity. It's just such a brilliant one and it's a process. So if you go try this and it doesn't work, that's okay. You try it again. Like that's how we put in, in like behaviors. We do practice and we do routine and we do them over and over. And every time it doesn't work, we edit or we come back or we try again. So don't just try it one time and then be like, that didn't work and give up on it and go back to living your lonely way through your challenges. The people who love you want to show up for you. They just sometimes need a little help figuring out how or knowing that you need it. And that's something that you can communicate. So use this opportunity to build this intimacy in your relationships. That's the good juicy stuff of relationship, of friendship, of connection, and we might as well use the the garbage to to our advantage, right? If you find this helpful, I do trainings over in Facebook and it's all women and we just focus on how we can make our relationships better, how we can get closer to the people that we love, how we can create new relationships, how we can navigate the, the tough times and create these deep, meaningful connections. So we'd love to welcome you into our group. Okay, see you next time.